Bluetooth bling is really becoming passe now, especially when you're driving your car. And it's no wonder that Bluetooth speaker phones have really taken off. And if you look at a lot of the high-end luxury cars rolling off the line, most of them have high-end built-in wireless options. But if you don't want to buy a new car just to get some Bluetooth action, the SuperTooth HD claims to give you the same results. Today, we're going to see if that's true. So obviously the first thing we want to test is can this thing make calls with my voice? And it's pretty simple actually. You just hit the big button up here. Say the command. Call Andy. Hello? Hey Andy, it's Mike. Hey Mike. Just uh, testing out the Super Tooth HD. How do I sound? Sounds perfect. See, the cool thing too is I can actually adjust the volume with the knob up here as well. So it makes it very easy to do any type of volume uh, control. Andy, thanks a lot. And to hang up, I simply just click the button one more time. So obviously the calling part works. Now I want to try out the hands-free assistant. And that's what sets this apart from any of the other Bluetooth speaker phones out there. You can actually connect this with things like Twitter, Facebook, even your email and text messaging, and you can do it all using your voice. What we're going to do is simply hit the little uh, message button here, and that will uh, automatically dial my SuperTooth assistant. So something to keep in mind, it is a six-month trial period for the, uh, the hands-free assistant. After that, it is a paid service. So to make this work, you do have to spend a little time setting it up through a computer with an internet connection. So let's uh, do a little tweeting. Twitter. Twitter. Record your message after the beep. Driving and tweeting, that's the life with SuperTooth HD. Recording complete. Will I send it? Yes. That's done. Okay, so far so good, but let's try the, uh, the media streaming features. The SuperTooth HD can actually stream everything from music, audiobooks, and even audio podcasts as well. So we'll get the music pumping here. I gotta be honest, the, uh, the actual quality of the audio is not up to par compared to your car stereo. Well, let's sum it all up. Number one, for making calls, it's fantastic. I'm in an open convertible now, and I can actually hear any of the audio coming through as far as the calls are concerned, and it's uh, apparently good quality on the other end as well when I'm speaking. As far as the uh, sending and receiving text messages and emails and, and social network updates, it's a cool feature. Is it a game changer for me? I would say no. I think after the six month free trial, I don't think I would pay for it. So all in all, if I want some Bluetooth action without having to buy a new car, this is definitely the way to go.